Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we'll answer a few more questions concerning um, the um, Chrome OS Flex operating system. Uh, quite a few people still asking questions. Um, the first one, a lot of people asking, well, you know, I don't know if it's going to work on my computer. Uh, can you tell me if it's going to work? Well, the, the only way that we, I can, you know, you can check out if it works on your computer is really to use it and try it and you can actually use it without changing anything so just follow the instructions of the google site where i've posted the link i'll post it again here create that usb thumb drive make sure that you boot from the thumb drive on your pc find a way that it works with either an f key that you have to press when you start your computer to choose the drive or change the properties in the BIOS. And you'll be able to use it from the USB thumb drive. It doesn't change anything. You don't have to install it to try it. And it's gonna give you an idea if it works or not. If it works from that thumb drive boot up, then it should work if you install it. I think it's a great replacement for an older PC. Um, so tr try it. It's the best that you can do. Now, uh, a lot of people have been asking me if Office documents can be used. Well, there's two things you can do with uh, Chrome OS Flex. You can actually go uh, and boot up the web versions of the Word or Excel or PowerPoint apps um, like you're going to see here. This is Excel that I'm actually starting, and you see here. It has most of the features that you'll need. It's a simplified version, but it is a good version for what most people do. Probably everything is in here. You can open documents. This is Word. Uh, here I'm opening PowerPoint. You have access to Office Online as long as you enter. Uh, you, you just log in with your Microsoft account to use the uh, Office Online versions. And what's cool is if you actually been using Office documents from Microsoft Office itself and saved them to OneDrive, all the documents are going to show up and going to be there available to you. The uh, question I get the most, how do I install a driver for a printer for whatever device that I have? Well, that's the thing. This is not Windows. You don't go on and install a driver of your device. You have to count on the fact that the device is already and has already its own drivers within the Chrome OS Flex operating system. So that means when you plug it in, it's going to detect it or not. To give you an idea, it detects my Wi-Fi of my old laptop. But if I plug in a modern Wi-Fi dongle with 5G capability, 5 gigahertz capabilities, it doesn't see it. So it shows you that it doesn't detect everything and it's not everything that's going to work with it. Now, as time goes by, there will be more devices added to it. So that's the good news. As you wait and as new versions come through, this will, of course, enable the devices that you have and you'll be able to, of course, use them. Our external hard drives uh, visible, yes. External hard drives will be visible through this uh, operating system without any problem. That's kind of a standard that will work. So it's really a question of, is it going to work? Is, is it available? Is my device listed in here and in, in working order? That's really just knowing, you know, is, is, is the driver available or not? There's nothing you can do or add to it. Once again, the Chrome, the uh, Google Play Store isn't available, so this not this limits um, some of the functionalities of the operating system. So remember that it's important. But overall, um, I mean, I've been using it for a couple of weeks on my old laptop. Works great, and I'm actually going to leave it like that. I'm really happy with it. And as time goes by and new versions arrive, I will continue talking about Chrome OS Flex. Last but not least. A lot of you are like, uh, well, I went there and I don't find my device. And it's like, you don't choose a device when you actually want to create the USB thumb drive. You have to go in the list and choose Chrome OS Flex. 
You don't choose a computer. You don't choose a device. You, that's not the way it works. You just choose Chrome OS Flex. It's in the list. That's what you need to create the USB thumb drive. So if you have more questions on Chrome OS Flex, let me know. Of course, I will uh, do videos from time to time. And when there's updates, um, we're going to check it out. Um, somebody asked today, do you know when this is going to be released officially? There's no official date, um, but Google seems to say that sometime this year we're going to have it. They say soon. Soon is what? Uh, two weeks? Two months? You know, it's going to be available at some point. And like I said, every time there's a new version or when it's actually general avail availability, uh, I'll talk about it and let you know. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.